Welcome to Ain't Got Time to Read, the place where I give you the breakdown to a plot and simply save you time. Now here is your spoiler alert, this video does contain spoilers. In this video, I will be explaining the plot to Aliens Nightmare Asylum, which continues the story of Wilkes, Billy and Boiler and takes place after the events of Aliens Outbreak. Please show your support and leave a like. Wilkes, Billy and Boiler are still travelling through space on the cargo ship that they stole called the American. Wilkes watches the transmissions that are sent as Earth is taken over by the aliens. Billy has a very vivid nightmare about the aliens. As people began having nightmares within a 50 mile radius of where the Queen was being kept on Earth, she begins to panic and is worried that aliens are on board the ship and tells Wilkes. Wilkes agrees to check the ship and arms his weapon which is low on ammunition. While checking the ship, they find signs that something has been on board, as well as a door melted by the aliens' acid blood. Upon further investigation, they find that men in hibernation chambers have been killed. An alien makes its presence known, and Wilkes and Billy put up a fight. In an attempt to get rid of the alien, they open the airlock but Wilkes gets trapped and is almost sucked out into space. Billy manages to get the door open and is able to pull Wilkes back into safety. Returning to the control room and looking over the security cameras, they find that two more aliens are on the ship, so they open up the airlock in the room that they are in and suck them out into space. This doesn't kill them, as Wilkes is still weak from almost being sucked out of the vacuum, Billy has to suit up and check the exterior of the cargo ship. She is attacked by the first one which she kills easily, but falls down into the ship's thrusters where she finds the second one. As Wilkes has fell unconscious, Boiler fires up the thrusters and kills the second alien. When the cargo ship reaches its destination, they find themselves on a military base run by General Spears, who is mad at Wilkes and Billy for killing his specimens. Wilkes and Billy are held in a cell not knowing what to expect. Three of General Spears' men do not like the current leadership and decide to rebel. They kill one man and steal a tractor. When General Spears finds out about Wilkes' history and expertise with the aliens, Spears releases them from their cells and allows them to wander around the base freely. Billy finds a control room and watches a transmission from Earth. The young girl reminds her of when Wilkes saved her as a child. The three soldiers arrive at the nearby colony and find that it has been overtaken by aliens. They are attacked and two of them are killed. One of them puts up a fight and manages to escape after being burnt by the aliens' blood. However, General Spears is waiting outside with his men and drags the man back inside to the aliens. General Spears' second-in-command tells Wilkes that General Spears is insane and he tells them that the colony was allowed to be overtaken by the aliens on General Spears' orders. Wilkes has shown footage of General Spears teaching the aliens queen as if she was a dog. Using fire to burn aliens, they stop attacking the humans. Wilkes is furious that General Spears could be so stupid. In a rage, he destroys a computer room and tries to rally General Spears' men against him. It doesn't work and they attack Wilkes and accidentally free the alien queen. Billy and Wilkes barely escape but manage to survive the onslaught of aliens. General Spears and his men capture Billy and Wilkes and Boala watches on a monitor, unable to do much. He crawls to the control room. He is left alone by the aliens because he is an android so he makes it to the control room. General Spears second in command goes for one of the men's guns and fails. He is killed, but it allows Billy and Wilkes the opportunity to escape. They are helped by Boiler in the control room, who closes an emergency pressure seal door between them two and the men that are trying to kill them. Wilkes and Billy have just enough time to get on board General Spears' shuttle as he is taking off and leaving his men behind. General Spears seals up his door, preventing Wilkes and Billy getting to him. The days pass and General Spears stays in the cockpit and Billy finds a computer that allows her to talk to Boala who tells her that he loves her. As they draw closer to Earth, they receive a transmission from the space station warning them that Earth has been lost. Wilkes and Billy take a gamble and use an escape pod to try and reach the space station. 
Spears lands on Earth and commands his trained aliens to attack the aliens that are taking over Earth. He soon realises that he never had control of them and that the Queen just played good to get them back to Earth. The aliens attack General Spears and kill him. Billy and Wilkes make it to the space station and Billy is relieved to see they are watching a transmission of the young girl on Earth and that she is still alive. They are pointing out the aliens are building some type of nest. Wilkes and Billy are surprised to find Ripley on the station, who was looking to put an end to the aliens.